to a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point at O. Its velocity is given by, so this is the velocity where t is the time in second after passing point O. Okay, so A, find the instantaneous velocity in meter per second of the particle when t is equal to 3. So we know that V is equal to t square minus 8t plus 7, right? So this is our B. So it's given that t is equal to 3. So we just substitute the value of t inside here to get what is our V. So V is equal to, because this one is an instantaneous, that's mean uh, at that time. At the current, the, that specific time of the velocity. So this one, t is 3 square minus 8, 3 plus 7. So 3 square is 9 minus 8 times 3 is 20. Minus 8 times 3 is 24 plus 7. So here we get, this one is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 7, here we get negative 8. Alright. So, the, the uh, instantaneous velocity of the particle when t is equal to 3 is equal to, is negative 8 meter per second. This one is instantaneous velocity of particle. Okay. So, B, calculate the value of t in second when the particle stop instantaneously. So, when we are talking about positive or negative, so we know that, here we know that when we have the graph this one is the uh, displacement vs time right so we know that uh, velocity is the gradient of this one so you see here when it's going up the velocity is positive when it's going down the velocity is negative so we know that this one is the displacement so here we know that uh, velocity is larger than zero so we see here larger than zero when it move from here from left to right left to right so we know that v is equal to zero when it is at rest and we know that v is smaller than zero which is smaller than zero so we see here, instead of going from right to left it's going the opposite way so we can say that this one is from right to left okay so calculate the value when the particle stop so when particle stop what happened particle stop we know that velocity is equal to zero so b v is equal to zero when v is equal to zero so here we get the equation right so zero is equal to t square minus 8t plus 7 or t square minus 8t plus 7 is equal to zero so this one we can factorize so 7 is actually 7 times 1 Right? So to get negative 8, so it must be t minus 8. So 7 is actually 7 times 1, so 1, 1. Negative 8, so this one basically t minus 7, t minus 1 is equal to 0. So here t is equal to 7 and t is equal to 1. So time, we only accept it when it is positive. So we can see that both value is positive. So both is acceptable. So it's either t is equal to 1 or t is equal to 7. This one when stop. So when stop is not moving, so v is equal to 0. Okay. C, determine the range of values of t in second when the particle move to the left. So we see here when it's changing direction, velocity is becoming negative smaller than zero when change direction from here is so move to the left that's mean from right to left so this one velocity is smaller than zero so this one is v is smaller than zero so we know that v is equal to t square minus 8t plus 7 right since v is smaller than zero then t square minus 8t plus 7 is smaller than zero so just like before, this one is t minus 7, this one is t minus 1 is smaller than 0, right? So we see here, when this one, you can see the inequality is smaller. So we know that, so smaller means the range is inside. So we know that this one, t is equal to 7 and 1, right? So 1 will be here, 7 will be here. So we know that t is in between 1 and 7. 
Why? Because it's smaller than zero and the range, if smaller, the range is inside which in between 1 and 7. So this is the values of t in second. So we can say that uh, 1 second to 7 second. So this one is what? Range when particle move to the left is okay. 1 second to 7 second.